Now, with E3 over a month away, you might be itching for something to play. There's Ointment. But we also have X-Plays Adam Sessler. Yay! He's going to talk about a fun action strategy game that gives Capture the Flag a, a hefty spin, if you will. Fat Princess for the PlayStation 3. Yes, and I, I, th I think with the name alone, you I'm might be like, so, oh, I, I, I think I'm going to play I'm this so, game. I was, uh, I was able to download the beta, and this is sort of an action-slash-tactical multiplayer game set in a bit of a medieval world where you have to rescue your team's princess, right. but there's a catch. Right. Uh, you can, because the, your princess is a flag, you can make her a uh, harder flag to take back to the other side. by feeding her flag. cake. Yeah. You feed her cake, she gets bigger, and then it was going, I can't carry the princess. It's <laughs> officially back over to the other side. I love um, it. Any Anytime you're playing a game and it's a viable strategy to yell, feed her more cake, she's not fat yes. enough. <laughs> really, I, I think that's probably one of the highlights of Fat Princess is that... Uh, I think it's fair to say that most of our real-time strategy games these days, our strategy games are a little on the dour side. Yes. Everything's very heavy-handed. Right. The world's, world's about to blow up. Ahead. Aliens are infecting oh, your no. mom. Orcs with guns. They're right. coming. We're quick, get our men with guns. We will fight them now. Right. Um, also, I, the way that you play the game, because you're not controlling all the characters on screen, it's right. really, if you play the multiplayer, where you get up to, uh, it's 32 people. 32 people right now. It's around, more yeah. or less if you're playing a real-time strategy game, but you're just one of the characters on the Correct. screen. And, and so... What I love is that, is that, you know, we keep saying real-time strategy game, but you don't have to do any yeah. strategy yeah. if you don't want to. Like, there's it's a real-time game. Yes, there's the engineer class where you can mine resources right. and chop trees and whatnot, but if you want, pick up the warrior and just hack and slash yeah. mindlessly. And the other thing is you're not stuck in one. You can actually get these various hats, and we, you can change hats throughout the game, and the hat determines if you're arranged, right. if you're sword-wielding, and all those great things. Right, and unlike a Team Fortress where you have to die and respawn to, to change your class or, or kill yourself, you can be in the middle of the battlefield as an engineer gathering stone, See a warrior or a rogue or exactly. a, I guess a ranger die, leap down, grab their hat, and you're good to go. I, I think the others, obviously, you look at the graphs and they go, oh, it's for kids. Also, right. take a notice at the blood that's Yeah, in the, the blood game. splatters everywhere uh, are not for kids. That, that, that's always an indication. Um, that, it, the, the, the game is a lot of fun. It can be really silly and chaotic. But if you want to win, there is depth you have got to sort of mine and master yeah. to, to really, you know, get a good group. That's I, assuming you have 15 other friends, though. True, true. Well, there's, there's thankfully, there's bots for people like me and, 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 me. and, and yeah. yourself. Yes. I, just, I, I think it's just so ambitious. I, I think it sp speaks well of, you know, gamers out there that they have 31 other <laughs> friends that <laughs> right. they can organize. Right. To play but I, I really game. just, uh, I enjoy it. And, and again, I completely agree that if you want that mindless hack and slash, you can have that. But the more and more I play this yeah, from man, strategies with potions that, right. that turn people into chickens to using the catapult to launch myself into their base to gathering certain towers, I, I've really found that like each time I find a new level of play yeah. and a new strategy to use, and I'm constantly surprised by that. Here's the question, though. Uh -huh. um, there is controversy oh, God, over the no, game. Not controversy Heaven in the forbid, video game industry. in the no. video game industry, there is some controversy, and we have to address it here, or else Fox will beat us to it again. Yeah. Um, fat princess. Was it just like the the few feminists out there that have Google alerts set for the word fat and princess did. in the same this, press release? This is something that has plagued me probably for the past 20 years. Y'all going all the way back to being at UCLA. Whatever says the feminists. I always had this image that like Andrea Dworkin and Catherine McKinnon are sitting around with Kate Worthy and can be Polly at a table going. What's going to get us angry today? What we can do, we say is wrong. Well, um, so if it were yeah. Fat Princess that pegged their radar, is that, is that... Yeah, I, I, I have a feeling if it was called Dead Pony, there's an entirely different organization. <laughs> be like, hold on, ponies don't die. Um, yeah, it's called Fat Princess. Uh, it's got a princess who's a little bit of an obese princess, doesn't sell well. <laughs> Big bone princess won't sell very well. Hefty queen, yeah, yeah no, no. Uh, you know, princess just, just throw a neutral system ad in there and let's just move on to bigger <laughs> problems. Adam Sessler, everybody, thank you for coming on again. Adam, always a pleasure to have you here, sir. Yeah, my pleasure. Um, again, it's in beta right now. I don't think there's a firm release date, but. Um, uh, we're, they're thinking maybe June, is, I think is what I'm hearing, but okay. I think they got to try out the net code once it's solid. Yeah, there's definitely some bugs there, but hey, it's in beta. It's going to have them, and it's, it's a blast if you can get a code, grab one.